A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this Ligue 1 match. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Stade de Reims. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And the striker today is Mauro Icardi. And a look at the starting lineup for Reims. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3 4 3 formation, but without wing backs. So, although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. And the contest begins. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw in. Herrera. in the centre and a strong tackle and a throw in it's going to be using his physical strength to shield it And the flag has gone up, offside. Marquinhos. And return to Mbappe. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And so, back playing again. PSG with the lead. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, there we have it, the first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here.
smuggled away. Coffee. Could be troublesome. At times they make passing look easy. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, a level contest, 1-1. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Under Herrera. Wijnaldum. Here's Icardi. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Icardi! Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. And he read it superbly. Icardi. On to Herrera. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And a chance to whip it in here. He would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Di Maria I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion well he's gone into the referee's notebook and he can't be surprised that was a poor challenge you have to say As you'll see here, he controls this free kick brilliantly. He gets it over the wall using the inside of his foot. He gets very little, no movement on it at all through the air. And it's perfectly placed. An outstanding goal. So there we have it. 2-1. Coffee. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. And the cross is very much on. Wijnaldum. Di Maria now. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Mbappe, 
Can he make it count? Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Taking the corner, Di Maria. Still a chance. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Herrera. So PSG get ready for the set-piece routine, hoping to increase their advantage. Delivering it. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Now, what can they do from here? Takes on the shots. Superb block. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Three minutes of added time here. Could be a chance to break here. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Di Maria. Danger averted. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Well, no complaints as regards Angel Di Maria and his performance so far. How would you assess what he's done, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Abdel Hamid. And taken away, he won the ball. He continues his run. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. On a corner, perhaps an opportunity for Paris Saint-Germain to increase their lead. Can he deliver it with accuracy? No foul play, says the referee. A chance to extend the lead. Oh, he's put it wide! Well, he went for the corner, but he's made a real mess of that. Really good interception. Simmons. Now he must favour the cross. And turning in field, Angel Di Maria. Mbappe! And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. He must finish. 
Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Fass. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, we're into the final half hour. Di Maria. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. He's driven in the corner. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Commitment to attack is there for all to see. Verratti this time. No way through. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. And intercepts again. Well, PSG have controlled most of the possession, as you can see. And as a result, have dominated the game. Some of their... Quite possibly a yellow card as their flow was stopped. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. A long way out. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. And a PSG corner. They take it short. Di Maria. Kimpembe. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Very comfortable when in possession. And players waiting in the centre. It might be on for them. But they took care of the situation defensively. 15 minutes left for play. Now, potential danger. The end product just wasn't there. Mbappe. 
in search of space. They've lost possession, Paris Saint-Germain. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Has eyes for goal! And he got to it fairly easily. Well, as we approach full-time, Paris Saint-Germain absolutely coasting to victory, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball. And they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Could cross it in here. Takes the shot. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. And he did what he had to do defensively. Anastasios Donis. And a bad pass it was. Dagba. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Mbappe. Clears it away. And that will do it for this game anyway. And it goes into the history books as a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their performance? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, a spectacular contribution from Angel Di Maria. Eye-catching stuff all round. Stuart, I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.